Welcome back, everyone. I've got a great lesson for you today. It's lesson 12, factors and multiples. I'm really excited to show you my Minecraft themed lesson that will show you how we can build these things using blocks in Minecraft or using blocks that you have at your house or your classroom. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about are multiples. And multiples are just like skip counting. You've been doing that since you were really little. Um, you were able to count by twos or threes or fives or tens. So you've been skip counting for a long time. So this should be pretty easy. I thought we could start with multiples of three. So we're going to be counting by threes. I like this one because it's pretty easy and I've got a song that goes with it that makes it kind of fun. So Here's my song. It's a little silly, but just listen along and next time you're trying to think of these, you can use my song. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. So those are the multiples of three. What if I asked you to find the multiples of four? Why don't you pause the video and see if you can skip count by fours, maybe all the way to 40. Okay, one more practice. Let's do the multiples of six. Pause the video and list your multiple multiples of six all the way to 60. Great job. I think I could give you any number to show me the multiples of and you could list it out by counting, by skip counting. So great job. Okay, now we're gonna learn about factors of numbers by using a Minecraft example. And we'll come back to this once we kind of learn what it means. I'm gonna have you learn what factors mean by doing. Today, we're gonna do a little gardening to help us understand what factors are. So what if I told you that we need to plant 12 blocks of melon plants in a rectangle? So different types of rectangles to see how we can arrange 12 melon plant blocks. So I have one for you. I have one row of 12. What other rectangles can you make? Pause the video and find out. Okay, so hopefully you found some good examples of other rectangles that you can make with 12 blocks. Here I'm planting a two by six. So you might have figured that out, that you can make two rows of six with 12. Okay, then I have another example that I planted of four rows of three or three rows of four. Okay, so here's the three rectangles. We have a one by 12, a two by six, or a three by four. These are all the factors of 12. They're all the numbers you can multiply that equal 12. We can also list them like this. These are all the factors of 12. One, two, three, four, six, and 12. I've got an important question for you. What happens if I try to make five rows with my 12 blocks? Oh, good. You figured out that you can't make a rectangle with it. That's because 12 is not a five fact. We can't divide it by five evenly. And what's the best way to get rid of my mistake? Blow it up. Woo! How about potatoes this time? Why not? This time I'm planting a row of 18 squares of potato plants. And I want to see what, what you think about, are there any other rectangles I could make with 18 squares, 18 blocks? Pause the video and see if you can figure it out. All right, so here are all of the factors of 18. Okay, so back to our whiteboard. That means that factors are numbers we multiply to get a certain product. We showed an example of 
numbers we can multiply to get 12. We also did an example of numbers we can multiply to get 18. I want to show you another way that we can represent this by using t-charts like this. So that way you have your different factors in a pair right next to each other. So we know 1 times 12 is 12. And I like to go in order, then I like to think about 2's next. So 2 times 6 is 12. And then I move on to 3. 3 times 4 is 12. I know I can stop once I start repeating myself. If I tried to do a 4 right here, well, I've already got 4 as a factor, so I don't really need to repeat myself, so I am done. I even like to do this sometimes to show that it's in order from least to greatest. Okay, let's try it with 18. Since we've already built them on Minecraft, it's a little easier to start with what we're familiar with. So we know that 1, I always start with 1, 1 times 18 is 18. We know that since it's even, it worked for two rows, 2 times 9, and then we made a 3 by 6. And you can, you can kind of continue and ask yourself, kind of like we did in the example with the 12s, um, we wanted to see if 5 rows would work and it didn't. You can do that with any number too. You can move on and say, ooh, is 4 a factor? And then you might think for a minute and think 4 times, ooh, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, so no, that's not going to work. You could either erase it or just cross it out. Um, is 5 going to be a factor? Ooh, good job. So 5 is always a factor of numbers where it's it ends in a zero or five, like 15 or 20 or 25. 18 doesn't look like a five fact, so let's get rid of that. And if I move on to six, what do you notice? Oh, good job, we've already got six. We don't need to move on. We can stop there, and here are my factors in order from least to greatest. Now I want you to pause the video and try it with 24. What are the factors of 24? Let's try it with the number 13 next. Pause the video and see if you can find the factors of 13. Oh my goodness, all I can think of is 1 times 13. So some numbers only have two factors. one and themselves. Some numbers have a lot of factors. We're going to learn a little bit more about what those are called in the next video. Now let's check back in with the harvest. Whoo, that was hard work. Not only did we plant a lot of watermelons and potatoes, but we also learned all about what multiples and factors are. I'd call that a successful day.